This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Haley is off tonight. Thanks for being with us. While the holiday season is known for good cheer, this time of year has also become known for crime. And as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates shows us, making a few minor changes can help keep your home secure. Bo Beth? Yes, from homes to yachts, even businesses, burglaries have become a common place during the holiday season. And officials say there are things you can do to prevent becoming a victim. It's a nightmare scenario, going out of town for the holidays only to return to a home or a business, being ransacked by thieves, but it does happen. My family, we used to take a lot of trips during the holiday season, um, and we actually got our house broken into multiple times, and we, we live in a relatively nice neighborhood. Bradenton resident Chris Catlin isn't alone. According to data from the FBI, almost 400,000 burglaries will occur throughout the country between November and December. And CrimeMapping.com statistics also show that in the past seven days, there have been more than 30 burglaries here on the Sun Coast. But the Bradenton Police Department says there are things that can be done to keep you safe. The first thing is something new is stay off of Facebook, stay off of Twitter, don't be advertising. I'm going to France, I'm going to New York, or even posting pictures of you on your vacation. Lieutenant Racky says posting your location on social media is like inviting the burglar in. He also suggests preventing mail and other deliveries from piling up at your home. While you're gone, you want to stop your newspaper delivery, stop your mail. These criminals have nothing better to do because, one, they have no jobs. So they're driving these neighborhoods. But they'll look. If they see a house with two newspapers in the driveway, they're going to start thinking nobody's there. And they may come back the third day. And if there's another newspaper there or those same two newspapers in the same spot, they're going to think that maybe no one's home and maybe this is a house that can be targeted. In addition to Lieutenant Racky's tips, area residents say they too are being proactive and protecting themselves this holiday season. I close my windows tightly, that they're really closed. I double check the um, lock like three times. If there's anything uh, close to uh, the door or windows where someone might be able to see in, that is a value, always move that. Sometimes I would leave the lights on or I'll have a family member or friend um, pass by the house once or twice to check and see if everything's okay. Now, in, in addition to the tips previously mentioned, officials say you should also invest in a security system because it may be expensive, but it's worth it if it saves your property. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. A new study by the Associated Press in USA Today reveals one of the happiest seasons of the year may also be one of the deadliest. The study shows unintentional shootings are higher around Christmas compared to any other time of year. 32 people were killed nationwide, 59 injured in the past two years from Christmas Eve to New Year's. Bradenton police say gun owners have a right to responsibility. Keep it locked up, keep it safe. They've got trigger locks, they've got gun safes, keep it unloaded. The best thing is just to be safe with it, be knowledgeable about it, be well trained in it if you're going to keep it in the house, but keep it away from the kids. Several factors contribute to that increase, including kids and teens off from school, more family disputes, and negligence with a gun. Well, it's a, a nice night, a cool night for a run, which is good timing since the Jingle 5K run is taking place in Lakewood Ranch this evening. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan joins us live from Main Street in Lakewood Ranch with more. Bob? Well, Scott, I'll tell you, they just had the little run just a minute ago, and they're getting ready for the six-year-olds right now down Main Street. This is organized chaos, if you will. Uh, the Jingle 5K walk and run begins at 7 o'clock, and it benefits the Lakewood Ranch of Medical Auxiliary. We talked to uh, Beth Bush just a minute ago, who's the director of that, and she says this is a wonderful event that raises a lot of money, and there's uh, places out of respect spectators too so you can come out here and watch uh, as all these runners uh, take the uh, take to the course here a little bit later you couldn't ask for a better night too by the way skies are clear and you got santa claus coming hey santa come on over how you doing i knew i was gonna christmas. merry christmas santa how are you very good very good yeah. great time great time a lot of kids here who are waiting to see uh what's going to happen on sunday i know you're a busy man but you came out here for this great race yes it's, it's good good benefit proud to be here Glad to see the good turnout and the nice weather. Have you seen my list yet? Or is, is yeah, it's, <laughs> it's long. long. Thank you very much, Jan. I hope I You're do all right. right. 
Good Thank seeing you. you. Merry Christmas. I'll tell you what, a lot of fun here. And I'll tell you, it's, it's crowded, Scott. As I said, 2,000 people, but there's a lot of spectators, too. And the kids getting ready for the next race, the six-year-old starting uh, right here down Main Street with lots of booths going on and lots of food, too. Uh, you can see some of the little guys and girls uh, all dressed up, ready for the big race. She's all ready to go, 30-23. All right, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, what's your name? Alex. Alex, good luck in the race, okay? All right, she's all happy about it. We got another guy, too, here. You all ready? <laughs> <laughs> He's worried, nervous. All right, back to you, Scott. Having fun here at Lakewood Ranch. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you, Bob. In other news tonight, a synagogue in Sarasota was recently the target of some anti-Semitic graffiti. According to the sheriff's office, leaders at Temple Sinai in Sarasota found swastikas drawn on a window, door, and shed on Tuesday. The symbols were drawn with black marker and removed immediately. Uh, investigators do not have any suspects yet. A rabbi from another temple in Sarasota says the incident is shocking and rare in this community. It's a very sad day, especially it's during the holiday season where we're supposed to show love and caring for one another. Temple declining any comment on the incident. They are pressing vandalism charges on property damage around $50. A local nonprofit that has been helping people who have HIV or AIDS is dealing with a major setback. The city of Sarasota notifying Bethesda House that it cannot operate as a food pantry and distribute food to its clients because of zoning regulations. Bethesda House has been providing nutritional food and services for hundreds of clients for more than 25 years. You're making it more difficult for them to get the help that they need in a city that Christmas time of all times <laughs> makes a decision that we need to shut down this food fulfillment portion of our program. Bethesda House is overseen by Catholic Charities and St. Martha Catholic Church. They say they'll continue to provide services to those with HIV and AIDS at the same location, just minus the food. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, a potential new way to travel through downtown Sarasota and make sightseeing easier for visitors. And travelers are delayed at several airports throughout the United States, and it's not because of the weather. Uh, the details coming up. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. This holiday season, give the greatest gifts of all, performance and peace of mind. Subaru was named the 2016 Best Overall Brand, Most Trusted, and Best Performance Brand by Kelly Blue Book. And ALT has named Subaru its top mainstream brand for residual value for 2016. Now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease a new Outback for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and ridin' at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. Looking for carpet? Look no further. Minnesota Flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota Flooring today. A poodle butter dish. I I'll use this. A chicken purse. It's so...
let's see. You're really good at giving gifts. This holiday, give the perfect gift. Perfect. Flowers, always the perfect gift. Beniva Flowers and Gifts, exceeding your expectations. You may have seen those free ride services on Siesta Key where drivers work for tips. Now it looks like that same concept is coming to downtown Sarasota. The city is negotiating with Gotcha Rides of South Carolina to bring their brand of eco-friendly rides to the Sun Coast. This is video of the Go, Go, GoTac rides working outside the recent Comic-Con convention in Manhattan. The head of the downtown improvement district says the program will cost the city $200,000 and the money will come from the BP oil spill award. Ron Soto says if all goes well, this service will begin in April. If I'm staying at one of the hotels down here and I want to go to the Hollywood 20, I can just call them up, zip over there, they drop me off, it's done at no charge. We're going to be the friendly city in, in, uh, in the country. But not so fast. Some taxi companies are not happy about this concept. We'll hear from both sides coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Planned travel did not go very smoothly for some flyers this holiday week. Los Angeles International Airport was packed this morning with people waiting for their flights and some looking for a new ticket. LAX officials say nearly 230 flights have been either canceled or delayed today. And there's no official word on what's causing the holdup, but airport officials say it is not weather related. Meantime, travelers at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport did not have it much easier. A partial internet outage caused long check-in delays for holiday travelers on Wednesday night. That led to an even busier travel day today. All computer systems, though, now operating normally, everything running smoothly again at that airport. Good to hear. And we'll be right back with your forecast. Bob Harrigan joins us live from Lakewood Ranch right after this. Our dad is an incredible man, a great father, and a hero who served his country well. He worked hard to take care of us. Now we take care of dad with the help of Granny Nannies. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Christmas tradition by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Alex Karras Lincoln's Holiday Sales Event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Granny Nannies, we've been making house calls for over 25 years. When you need home health care services, there really is no place like home. Grandma! A helping hand and a gentle heart. All right, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan is having a great time tonight out in Lakewood Ranch where uh, uh, a big run is about to get underway. Here to tell us more, Bob. 
Uh, Scott, I tell you, this is huge. And uh, they're doing the six o'clock, or actually, it just started at six. Some of the kids are running now, are getting ready to run uh, down this short course uh, right by the Christmas tree is where they're starting. And then the main run begins at seven o'clock. And that should be a lot of fun, too, as far as it goes. The weather looks to be just perfect out here tonight. As skies are clear and there's hardly any breeze at all. And temperatures have cooled quite nicely here uh, into basically the low 70s at this point, uh, upper 60s uh, inland now. As far as the uh, forecast goes, I did tape one earlier uh, to let you know that things have been uh, pretty good here and will stay that way too, it looks like, through the next several days as a result of uh, this high pressure ridge, which continues to build on in uh, right across all of Florida. So skies will remain fair tonight, just a little bit of fog. Here they come, we're gonna be uh, run over. Bart, watch yourself. Okay, here they go. They're, oh yeah. I think this is the end. This is the end. This is the end, you guys. <laughs> they just keep going. I don't know if our graphics are up or not. No one's talking to me about that, but are they? Okay, we're still up here. All right, very good. I think this is the uh, six. Okay, the younger race is here taking place. They're having a good time. This is the end. Uh, so once again, Scott, things are looking pretty good here. As far as your forecast goes, here's how it looks. We're looking at generally fair skies uh, through this weekend. Set, the tides are up right now. Okay, so get a look at the tides on your screen that you see right there. Uh, the tides are uh, actually uh, going to be running later on this evening. As, okay, I'm up now. It's got a computer. I have no computer. It's all gone. But that's the way it is. It, it, it's uh, organized chaos out here. And we are looking at generally fair skies uh, for the next several days with high temperatures in the low 80s. And for boaters, seas will be running uh, right around two feet with a moderate chop in the morning, uh, becoming a light chop in the afternoon uh, with winds out of the east at around 15 knots, subsiding to five to 10 later on in the day. So that's it from here at Lakewood Ranch. We'll have much more coming up at seven o'clock. We'll see you then. Back to you, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Coast Guard crews are searching for a man who jumped off a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Witnesses say the 22-year-old went overboard around 1.45 this morning. At the time, the ship was about 33 miles southeast of Key Largo. Royal Caribbean says it's providing support to the man's family. Coast Guard crews are searching by air and sea for that man. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up on Suncoast Scene, we'll tell you about some events happening this weekend that you might not have thought of. most and this month made in america is back 200 reports and counting he asks he listens when american jobs are on the line he's right there thank you for making world news tonight with david muir america's most watched newscast since 1972 sleep king has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available top brands like simmons sealy serta beauty rest eye comfort and more with available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal for a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. The year is winding down, and that means big savings during the Big Finish event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Ram trucks are built tough to help you conquer whatever the day may throw your way with all the comforts you'd expect in a luxury vehicle. And right now, all 2016 quad cabs are over 20% off with new Ram trucks starting at just $19,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, 
We provide you with a huge selection of Karastan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karastan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Hey, I'm really glad that you're taking a few moments to check out this video about the ministry of First Sarasota, downtown Baptist Church. I'm William Hill, lead pastor here at First Sarasota. For the last 15 years, it's been my privilege to share in the life of this faith community, a community that centers itself around faith, friends, and family. Indeed, it is a ministry that's been in existence right here in this wonderful city for over a century. Well, a lot of things will be closed Christmas weekend here in the Sun Coast, but you can still find lots to do if you need to. ABC 7's Linda Carson has some suggestions in the Sun Coast scene. Linda? And you may need to, Scott. When you've got lots of visitors or family members gathered for the holidays, sometimes it's good to get everybody out of the house and doing something together. Here are some holiday treats that are special to the Sun Coast. Jungle Gardens is open Christmas Eve, a great place to get the kids outside to run off some energy. You can roast marshmallows over an open fire and pay a last minute visit to Old St. Nick. Also open Christmas Eve, a very unique live nativity scene at Big Cat Habitat. And not far away from the manger, you can also visit all the lions and tigers and bears. And here's something to do Christmas Day after all the presents are open and the kids are beginning to get antsy. Come out to the annual Pinecraft Christmas Day Parade. It's in the Amish Mennonite community and it's going down Kaufman Street. It starts at 2 p.m. Last year, more than a thousand people came to watch. Everybody's welcome to ride in the parade. Participants will gather in the parking lot behind the Dear Dutchman restaurant at 1 p.m. And after all of the fun and the excitement and the craziness of Christmas Day, here's something you can do Christmas night that is pure enjoyment. The Piano Man at the Florida Studio Theater. Piano Man is a, uh, a fun musical, uh, musical review uh, that celebrates the music of Billy Joel, Elton John, Barry Manilow, and Stevie wonder and it takes the uh, the crowd on a thrilling uh, journey of the evolution of the piano and how it went from ragtime through Jerry Lee Lewis and then became the modern pop sensation uh, instrument. Hanukkah begins on Saturday night, December 24th, and it goes through January 1st. And the Sun Coast celebrates on Monday with the sixth annual Taste of Hanukkah. It's on the Jewish Federation campus on McIntosh, Monday from 4 to 6. There'll be a magician and balloon twisting for little kids. There'll be arts and craft for the elementary school uh, grades. Then we have extra activities of jump, uh, bungee jumping and orb race tracks. And of course for the adults as well, we have lots of shows and good food catered by the finest caterers of our community. And coming up Monday, another great holiday tradition here on the Sun Coast, Sailor Circus presents High Flying Holidays. Some of the acts you'll see this year are unicycling, juggling, high wire, high flying trapeze, the teeter board, Spanish web, everything in between. It's officially the greatest little show on earth, featuring kids from 8 to 18. Two shows daily, December 26th through December 29th. Night, Friday night from 6 to 8.30, Lakewood Ranch celebrates Christmas on Main. There'll be food and games and rides and live music, Santa and his elves, and maybe even snow. That would be something on the Sun Coast, yeah, Scott. All right. Linda, thank you so much. Well, as we told you earlier, a record number of Americans are expected to travel this holiday season. Today is to be one of the busiest Christmas air travel days. It's estimated nearly 5 million flyers will take to the skies to get home for the holidays, and the rush is on. ABC's Lauren Lister has more from Los Angeles, where LAX Airport is trying to get back, to tra back on track after hundreds of flights were delayed overnight. Today, long lines of passengers and baggage all backed up. Los Angeles International Airport trying to get on track after a sleepless night for many. We've been in this airport for almost 24 hours trying to get out. And we're going on 24 hours of broken promises. Today and tomorrow are the busiest Christmas air travel days nationwide. At LAX, an unfortunate sign the rush is on. Cancellations, hundreds of flights delayed overnight. We just kept getting delay after delay. The terminal is 
chaos. There's people sleeping everywhere. Planes sitting on the tarmac for hours after landing. Uh, we're on the tarmac for two and a half hours. I, I don't know where my bag is. I missed my other flight. That, and yeah, now I'm standing in line. That's not moving. LAX blaming it on more travelers, more planes, and rain. The FAA citing runway construction as a factor. Airlines like United working to keep things moving across the country. Is that thing ready to go? 1,200 workers in Chicago watching operations on computer screens. Keep moving, keep moving. Trying to keep everything on time. This room exists just to minimize that disruption. We'll try to reroute airplanes, reroute flight crews develop flight plans that get away from the weather. This time of year, it's all about the weather and more flyers. United says 75% of passengers travel once a year, and for a lot of them, this is it. So many are far from frequent flyers. Also, an LAX official says if you're flying, check with your airline. That's where you'll find out about any changes first. Lauren Lister, ABC News, Los Angeles. Thank you, Lauren. And Linda, I guess the other option if you don't want to travel just stay right here on the sun coast and enjoy the holiday here that's There's what you're doing so right? much to do yeah. it's great to go for a walk on the beach on christmas eve yeah. or go to jungle gardens or just walk right. around downtown around the marina yeah this is uh this is the place to be you've got all your family coming in right got a lot of family here yeah. not all of them I'm, my right. house is not that big <laughs> but we have a lot of people here that's awesome enjoy your holiday we hope everyone does the same of course we invite you back at seven o'clock tonight for more news and then we'll be back at 11 o'clock to wrap up the day. Until then, World News Tonight with David Muir is next. Have a great evening. See you later.